New concerns tonight over bats in Vigo County schools. However, it's on a much smaller scale as reports say there are only a few in the building. So the question is, what kind of risk do these lower numbers bring? News 10's Hunter Petroviak explains. Last month, Sarah Scott Middle School was in the spotlight. That says they dealt with removing a colony of bats. The latest story, though, is two live bats found at Honey Creek Middle School and three live bats found at Terre Haute South. Christina Keller with the Vigo County Health Department says dealing with bats isn't a new thing. Everyone's very well aware that there are bats in Indiana. Um, it's not a new thing to see them. Um, it's, it's not a new thing, especially when we talk about personal homes or when we're out in the um, early dawn and dusk um, hours and you see them flying around. The difference with this situation is the lack of number of bats in the schools. Keller explains with the colony, there was an elevated risk. If you have a hundred people that have um, the flu, for example, and you have two, um, or you have a hundred people and you have two people who are healthy. So obviously the population there is greater, so you have a greater risk of having different viruses, um, different diseases such as rabies, so you have a higher risk in that population, just purely really because there's more of them. However, the risk exists for something like rabies to be spread. That's why they show an interest in the schools despite the low number. Well, all it would take is one, obviously, um, and the concern at that point is we wouldn't know if they came into contact with somebody. Keller says looking for droppings or knowing what bats sound like might be the only way you know they're there and adds talking about these situations is very important. When things like this happen or um, unfortunate accidents happen, um, they are unfortunate, but in terms of education, sometimes it works out for us. In Vigo County with photojournalist Marty Ledbetter, Hunter Petroviak, News 10. Keller says it's also important kids know what bats are and what to look for and says it's very important they report what they've seen so the situation can be looked into.